animals need very special treatment when it comes to ultrasound scanning and particularly pregnancy scanning. This is because they are particularly vulnerable to the mechanical and thermal effects of ultrasound. This claim is supported by scientific studies. Exposing rabbits, for example, to a typical ultrasound scanning protocol that would be performed on pregnant women resulted in significantly reduced parathyroid hormones in all of the offspring. This was regardless of what stage of pregnancy the scan was performed at. In guinea pigs, an exposure time of just two minutes resulted in an increase in temperature in the fetal brain of 2.5 degrees Celsius and over fetal bone up to 5 degrees Celsius. There are three key steps you can take to minimise the risk to small animals during an ultrasound scan and particularly during a pregnancy scan. The first of these is to minimise exposure time. Make sure the cumulative total of exposure time does not exceed five minutes. The second step is to make sure that any individual scanning session does not last more than 60 seconds. So that means scan for 60 seconds and then just take your probe off the skin, give them a break and if you need more images, go back and take some more pictures. The third step is to reduce your acoustic power and make sure that your mechanical and thermal indices do not exceed 0.1. If your ultrasound machine does not display MI or TI on screen, ask the company that sold it to you for clarification. If you've not been taught about what these indices mean, then go back to the company that trained you or contact the Animal Ultrasound Association for free help and advice.